Right now, Wisconsin schools are not required to teach a comprehensive science-based sex education course to students. In 2011, former Governor Scott Walker repealed this requirement and instead encouraged schools to promote abstinence-only sex education. But now Wisconsin Democrats are looking to reinstate a bill that would require schools to cover puberty, contraception, pregnancy, and more. Madison Rios has you covered on why Wisconsin Democrats believe the passing of this bill is imperative to the success of our state students. Right now, Wisconsin Democrats are looking to implement a comprehensive and age-appropriate sex education course in schools throughout Wisconsin. Democratic Senator Melissa Agard reintroduced the Healthy Youth Act last week during a news conference, nearly 11 years after former Governor Scott Walker repealed the requirement. Alongside Agard, several students spoke to the importance of having a sex education course that teaches about forms of sexual expression, gender identity, and sexual orientation would be greatly appreciated if the adults in our lives could take the time to teach us healthy habits about sex so we don't get into dangerous situations. The Legislative Reference Bureau reports if passed, this bill would allow schools to examine topics such as the health benefits and side effects of contraceptives and barrier methods to prevent pregnancy and STIs, the benefits and reasons for abstaining from sexual activity, and reproductive and sexual anatomy and physiology. In 2011, Wisconsin Republicans also eliminated discussions on the health benefits of contraceptives and asked schools to identify skills students need in order to remain abstinent. Republican Senator Dewey Strobel says, quote, ultimately, as a former school board member, I believe that this is a decision that should be left up to the local level. Our school board members and administrators know the needs of their communities best. They should be the ones deciding curriculum when it comes to something like sex education. Strobel is one of the Republican co-authors originally behind repealing the Healthy Youth Act in 2011. I've reached out to several other Republican lawmakers on the Senate Committee of Education as well as school districts in southern Wisconsin, but have not yet heard back. For a complete list of topics covered under this bill, you can visit the web article at WKOW.com.